Welcome to Autzen Stadium, home of the Oregon Ducks and the House of Loud, a place where great teams go to die. Today we have a top 25 matchup on hand with two of college football's premier teams preparing to slug it out. As we'll see, the number 25 team in the country, the USC Trojans. Taking on the fourth ranked team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Trojans will kick it away to start us off. From inside the 15, here's the return. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Offense getting set for first down. The give to the back. At the 35, he's got room. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. And on that run, he shows you his speed, speed, speed. When I think Oregon Duck running backs, the Michael James, Kenyon Carter, Jonathan Stewart, I think about guys that are burners. And when they got into the second level, they were gone. That's exactly what this guy is right here. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. The Ducks keeping this defense off balance. They can hit them from a variety of angles, this time going up top. There's so many things to look at. You know, they've always traditionally gone fast as well in the pass at Oregon, but, you know, the quarterback run and the run up the middle and then play action pass, they keep you guessing a lot, and they make a lot of plays down the field because your eyes are focused on something they shouldn't be focused on. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Back to pass, it's Gabriel. Fires to the wideout. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Defense were always trying to get some tips, you know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. The back goes in motion. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Got to give the defense credit on that play. Taking everything away. Forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short. And you're in field goal range. What do you do here? This offense wants to get out of the gate fast on their first drive of the game. Plus territory. They'll go for it on fourth. A shot for the end zone. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. And listen, I have no problem being aggressive on fourth down, but the consequences of that, now you got to have your defense go belly out. So you started the game trying to be aggressive. Well, defense, you got to get my back now. Looking for space. It's O'Neal. Runs ahead and powers his way for four yards out to the 30. The Trojans want to move quickly. They'll go right back to the run. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lift. He had a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. Dropping back, it's Moss. He makes the connection. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Defense, man, it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker or a corner or a safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. 
He's going to let it go. And that pass is intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Got a man. It's Johnson. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Nice move to stay on his feet. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete as time has expired here in the first quarter. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Corners right up on that line of scrimmage. Makes the catch. It's Johnson. Got some room headed to the goal line. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. When well, we see another catch by this guy, this defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Yeah, and it's tough being a quarterback near the goal line like this in the red zone. When you're throwing the ball, these windows are so tight, and you got to try to fit it into some tightest windows on the football field. Very difficult to do. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And in that situation, the one-yard line, the defense brings so many guys. Palmer gets in the backfield, creates the negative play. Yeah, I think we're seeing the overall athleticism of the... And it's caught! Touchdown, Oregon! And after that touchdown, you can barely hear yourself think. Oxen Stadium, one of the most special places in all of college football, and easily one of the loudest stadiums, is now going off. We've all called games here before. We love coming to Eugene. This place is magic. It's because of these fans. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his 10. Makes a move. He's on the loose. There he goes. Open it up. He will score. Touchdown, Trojans. That dude ought to have a lethal sticker on his helmet. Anytime he touches it, it can be a score. He touched it, and it was. No doubt. Unbelievable speed. And, and if you're back deep for a kickoff, obviously, you've got those wheels. But to be able to get through, and guess what? No flags. No one's going to count. Great job by the special teams being special. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop. And now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. It doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. And the Ducks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. 
He'll just keep swinging it. Throws to the tight end. Makes a connection. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets into the 40. Offense set on first down. Looking to pass. It's Gabriel. Fires to the right. And the pass is intercepted. Trying to take it back. He's inside the 40. The 20. Touchdown, USC. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. That last pick six after a drive like that, David can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards but did what they're supposed to do. Now, Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and get the ball right back. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Sends it downfield. Fires and picked off. And he'll be marked down, but what a play to come up with that interception. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. This drive will get underway from just inside the 35 at their own 34. They'll start this drive with a pass. Shoots it to the left. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Are we sure that he knows what color jersey his receivers are wearing? Threw a pick on the last drive and almost threw another one. Just, just temporarily confused. No big deal. Hey, short memory. Quarterback's got to have those short memories, right? It's behind me. No harm done. Reset. Next play. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. On the run, it's Moss. Fires to the tight end. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. In the double coverage, and they made him pay. It's intercepted. They make the tackle after the turnover, but hang on just a second. There's a flag on the field. Let's see if it stands. First and ten. The run to the left. Got the first down and more. Open space at the 25. And finally out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier. This guy strikes fears into the hearts of every defensive coordinator, David, with that speed. If you give this guy any open grass, man, he's gone. It's just silly. Look at the angles. People are trying to catch him, but he's got so much juice. He can outrun those angles and make enormous points. Trying to get to it. And he left that one short. Tried to baby it in there. He's got to turn it loose. After getting nothing, it's second and goal from the six. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Southern Cal! This offense is so explosive, they can change the scoreboard in a flash. You just saw that on that drive. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. 
It bounds through the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If they're a little bit down. Listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. And that is interception number three on the day. Just keeps moving. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Timeout. This offense has been running wild in the first half, but wait, they want more before they go to the locker room. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless tough running gets it down to the four. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Off the play fake. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Third and goal from way back there. Looking to throw, it's Moss. They're bringing heat. It is incomplete, and now there are four seconds remaining. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long and field goal range. They go zone coverage, so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Field goal is good. And that lead grows even bigger. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. One more snap coming before halftime. He wants to throw. He's going for it all. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. The Ducks will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it out. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Going to the run to start this second half. Pushes the pile for a couple of yards down at the 12. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. On second down, he'll let it fly. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And they sniff that draw out. They draw you to have to sell that pass that you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground quick, fast. And Oregon has it back, and here comes. 
comes the offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll pull him down after a pickup of five down to the 23. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. They're trying to get to it. He gets rid of it, but I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. Nope, here comes the flag. A third down try for the offense. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete on third down. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man. -man. Everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for it. On fourth down, going to the air. Going up top. Makes the catch, he's got enough. And he'll go down, but not before the big pickup and the first down. The Ducks come to the line with a new set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Let's it go to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Well, the quarterback tried to find his big target in the end zone there in a hitch route, but he looked covered to me, and that's one where as a QB, you got to be careful if you're trying to force it in this area of the field. You're lucky that one wasn't picked. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Ducks! Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt, first half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak, it looked like it was ugly, but now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. That one bounds through the end zone and it'll be a touchback. They still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David. And after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. Looking downfield, it's Moss. Gets it out fast. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. And the Trojans will hustle to the line. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon. you got to find him in the passing game. Not sure exactly what went haywire there, but the timing was just off. And that's your job as a defense, right? You've got to find a way to disrupt the timing and jam wide receivers or get to the quarterback and make him feel it. He caught it, and he will score! Touchdown, Trojans! Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing him go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. That ball scoots through the back of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? Uh, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops. So he puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Reacted well to the Tim, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Going for the big play. 
And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. Able to stay on his feet and get the ball to the 21-yard.